Hello YouTube, my name is Jay and welcome back to Her Story. So, last episode we were looking up fairy tale. Let's see what we have on here. Simon never cheated on me. He was devoted to me. And I was devoted to him. Nothing in life is easy. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. Do what you can. I also want to point out, I was looking at the achievements on this game. We've not even uncovered half of the well, fucking clips. She wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to take the story? It's a real life fairy tale. Oh, we should search it. Real life fairy tale in a second. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches. Magical mirrors and lost children. So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. Alright, um, real life fairy tale. Real mother. Okay, how about just mother? Yes. Nine entries? Fuck. What do these do? Ah, oh, this is what we've searched. Ooh. There are 61 different ones for Simon. There's nine for Mother. What is this? Ah. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. Hmm. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Sarah. Sam wanted to call her Ava after his nana. But I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Ava. But I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. So those seem like two important names to search up. Nope. Nope, worthless names. <laughs> worthless. Alright, what else do we have to look up? Um. Did we look up not code? I feel like we did. We. Doesn't matter, there's nothing there. Let's look up Visa. Shit. Shit. Credit card. Damn it. Did we ever look this up? I'm not even sure that was actually a thing. Wedding. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. We had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of just us. Just the two of us. Ooh. All right. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. It's like a bin bag. Nope. Hannah Smith. 
Henry Smith. It's gonna be a shit ton. Or not. Shit. Simon Smith. Eighteen entries. Here's one we haven't seen. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Why? Oh, because he died there. You're reaching here. And I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. Hmm. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. Yeah. But I have my baby to get. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? Let's look up those two words. You cheated on your wife. Oh my god. Is this your thing? Oh my god, girl, you need to calm down. What did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? You need to come down. I didn't kill you. You need to come down. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. You need to come down. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to come down. There's a lot of videos about sex. Really? You need to ask me about my sex life? It isn't that private. Not when someone had just been murdered and we need to figure out what the fuck happened. Are you married? How is your sex life? Oh my god. Defensive. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after 10 years of marriage. 10 years? No. You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. You're, there's, there is something wrong with you, hun. You need an help. Affair. Simon wasn't having an affair. Now, what was that other thing we looked, we just saw, I wanted to look into? No. No, no, no. Some, some kind of sleut. So. Ten years of marriage, ten years of marriage, that's what I wanted to know. So I got the number 10! When you've been married for 10 years, stuff accumulates. You could argue about anything. And he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over and that just makes it worse. Why though? We're both passive aggressive, so mm. we don't directly about anything. Uh, that, that, that's definitely a problem. So you're just trying to smooth it over. It's like, that doesn't seem bad, but if you're both passive aggressive about everything, then yeah. I mean, ups and downs like in a couple, I guess, but we've been married for over 10 years. So she's like 27 now? <laughs> married. Ooh. Most stuff. stuff. That's a stupid argument. Nothing specific. No one knows how to push your buttons better than those you're close to. Okay. Man, we're really running on dry here, guys. Are you married, detective? No. Nope. I'm single Pringle. Married, um... What the fuck was I gonna look up? I forgot what I was gonna look up. Married couple. 
Married couple. Thank you, Miss Hannah. If that is a real name. Because I'm not fucking sure anymore. Oh, wifey. Lifey. The life of the wife was ended by the knife. JK, the husband's was. Alright, nothing came up for wife. All I have left on my notes is a blue turtleneck. Hmm. Let's search blue. Jeans. And watch. That's all I got left. Ooh, there's a new one. Boop. It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror. Her clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi and we wanted the body to be found later. Mm, yeah. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it linger. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. And you're telling this to the fucking detectives? Oh my god. Shit, chat. You're done? Oh, is this the end? Yeah. Good. Just so think you understand why your mother did what she did. Your mother? Where the baby? Yeah. Why, our mother? I'm glad. Sarah, I'll be waiting outside. Log off when we can meet up over the road. Something done? Yeah. Good. So you think you understand why your mother did what she did? I'm glad. I honestly don't know why she did what she did, but like, I didn't know where else to go, like, I'm assuming she did it because she was crazy and she was, the way I interpret it as, like I said, she has multiple personality disorders, she thinks she's Hannah and Hannah, or she is, she is both Hannah's and I think one Hannah just got really jealous of the other Hannah. I don't know. Like, is that really... Is that really the extent of it? I know I was reading before this episode started because I wanted to know how to figure out the ending because this game doesn't feel very traditional. And according to everybody else and what the creators come out and said, he didn't want it to be like a traditional game where it just like ends. Like, because they asked you there. It was like, did you figure it out? Like, we could have simply said no and they would let us continue. Apparently that pop-up shows up when you're about halfway through the game. Or not even not even halfway through the game, but halfway through the clips. So we literally saw only half. Maybe less, maybe a little bit more. So there's still so much in there. I really believe that's what it was though. And yeah, he left the apparently the creator left the game like this. Because he wanted to leave the game open to interpretation. He didn't want a clean slate like, Alright, she this is how it's done, this is what happened, blah blah blah. The end. Yeah, she did it. Hannah. Or one of the Hannahs. It got me wondering too. That means you definitely you could definitely tell that the way they talked to you, you interviewed multiple Hannahs. You interviewed both of her personalities at some point. <laughs> You interviewed the one that got pregnant with the magic sperm. You interviewed the one that was like, she just had me burn on her family. Wow. This game is how much? Sarah, if you're stuck, you could always try admin random. 
or the unlock command. Let's go. Admin random. Lucky dip. Black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. What the fuck? Unlock. Unlock. Count unlocked. Query we'll maximum now set to 15. <gasps> now set to 15? <gasps> that changes the fucking game. Let's look at something real quick. That changes the fucking game. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house. To our parents' house. To their house. So, it was definitely him. I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. The fucking game has been charged. Married. One new one. Is it longer? He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. I'm not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was. But he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from letter two. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome. Oh, that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Alright, let's see. Sex had a lot too. This is just bonus stuff we're gonna see figure out if we can dig deeper into this. It'll be a long oh, finale it? episode. It was more than that. It wasn't just sex like I had been with the other boys. Okay, um... Parents. There is a lot about parents. I guess there is an extra one for wife. Yep, there's three we have not seen. Simon's parents offered to put me up, but I don't think it would be a good idea. It would be too sad. Not right now. I'm staying at a friend's. Staying at a friend's? Could they have been my parents' fingerprints? I'm not sure how long they last for, but is that possible? No. JK had no. Ooh, here's a long one too. Okay. Um, <laughs> I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house, I knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. In a mist. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in, uh. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits on there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. 
I touched the kettle, it was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room, nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom, he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his wife. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. That enough? Hmm. That was a lot. Alright, um... I think we should just end it there. There's so much more to delve into this game, but... Actually, let me know. I want to know. Uh, ooh, let's look up Simon. Let's look up Simon. That had 61 fucking results. <laughs> let me know what your guys' interpretation of it is. Ooh, let's, find, let's watch these last few. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Simon left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. Oh, so they left on the same night. So that was one it's argument. Difficult. Instead of two separate arguments like I thought prior. So what are your guys' thoughts about no. what happened? I mean, he was, everyone loves Simon. He was so nice to I mean, everyone. The game already confirmed she did it. He loves me. It's so crazy that we're... Sarah. So she actually did give birth to a baby at one point. The baby that she was pregnant during this interrogation. I got a job. Contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. Yeah, no. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. Under pressure. See, so yeah, I would. I don't know. I feel the double personality disorder is a fairly good theory, but this game is this up in. So this game is up to interpretation, apparently. Like the, uh, oh, she just left there. Like the creator wanted, he wanted everyone to come to their own conclusion about how she did it or what happened. Yeah. So, I, I would love to see different theories about what happened. Like if there's an actual other sister or not. I am by no means. I am by no means the uh, the best theory crafter. It just seemed fairly fucking obvious that this is like what happened. So, it's gonna cut it for her story. Her story, uh, it's a six dollar game up on Steam. If you guys want, you can. Uh, I got it on sale for like four bucks, something like that. There's so much more to delve into. We probably covered like sixty ish percent of all the different files here and then now you know the the commands like admin underscore unlock to get to look at 15 different cues instead of just five at a time so that definitely helps speed up the process of like finding all of them and looking at all the different clips in here so i definitely uh i feel this game is better to go in blind like if you guys saw this let's play there's probably i bet there's still even more like if you're just really into it and you want to get it on sale like i got it for four bucks i'm sure you could get it down to three or two during the uh summer sale whenever that comes up and it may just be interesting to get it just to delve in and see every little tidbit but i would definitely recommend this game to anyone that i see that hasn't played it that hasn't played it this is with apparently he's already working on a sequel uh sp something i forget his name SB is actually his initials. Um, Apparently, he's already working on a sequel. As soon as the sequel comes out, we'll play it on here. It's a nice short series. Uh, four episodes. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. I already saw that on average it takes like two hours a beat, which I guess I have logged in two hours now. So, uh, Steam says. But thank you guys, as always, so much for watching and going on this journey with me. 